Hello, this is Way of Weinstein. Broad City, Season 4, Episode 6, which is live from the Financial District of New York City. However, you may be watching YouTube, Facebook Live. Let's go. Okay, so I actually like this episode. So the episode starts with, with Abby finding it looks like a singular gray hair. So she panics. She's freaking out. And she she looks at Drew, Drew Barrymore's catalog. She wants to buy this space heater. And she's really not in the financial situation to get it. Just because she lost her job a couple episodes ago. From being on drugs. And leading to the death of her, of her boss's pet. So, and... Alana is making money. She's doing pretty good as the, as a waitress right now, and so I want to touch on the on the main arc for for Abby. Then I'm going to go to the Alana story. So the Abby story. So she's selling her cards on the street, and she runs across this this old person who has essentially got a lot of things like her. They went to the same art school. They have the same Tupperware. They have just act a lot, and there's a lentil which looks like a wart, and they just they're just very, very, very similar. And she's helping her like with, with a scarf on her back which looks like a hump. So two main people that come by the stand. So there's this Asian dermatologist who I gotta look up on IMDb how old that. At actress because in the show she said she was 51 and if she legit that actress legitimately is 51 and in real life that is impressive so she was essentially saying she's a dermatologist on the Upper East Side with access to pretty much everything and she buys 50 50 dollars worth of, of Abby's cards and I'm checking that out right now because sometimes with when there's a new episode they don't have the full cast for every episode up uh, but yeah I, I'm stunned for that so so for that and then we see a return of of Jer of Jeremy the guy that which was a callback it made me think of him like in the last episode how when Abby, Abby's mom, and Alana were at the the sex toy store, and they saw the dildo that they said hand wash only because that was the dildo that, that Abby put in the wash. That was Jeremy's dildo for pegging, and <laughs> and, and it was just funny to see Jeremy, and he's got he's got a wife, he's got a kid, so it's just just seeing. It. Oh, and also how. I don't know what was in that wand that the old that the older woman gave to the Abby, but I'm guessing it was someone in the marijuana family. If I if I had to if I had to guess. So but okay, so the that Asian woman is not listed on IMDB for the episode. <sighs> Alright, so so that was that was interesting. And how she goes to the dermatologist and first she thinks that she wants to have it. And then she doesn't want she doesn't want want to have that those looks, and then the dermatologist like laughs like, like oh no okay so now that's essentially the the Abby side it was enjoyable I mean it wasn't anything great not nothing nothing this season has been like the way season three ended with getting there and Jews on a plane which was it wasn't Seinfeld curve level. But it had moments that made me laugh, like I was watching a great episode of Seinfeld Curve. And the season three, episodes nine and ten last year, those were great. And that's that's one of the reasons that I wanted to give this show on um, Way of Weinstein. So, so to the Alana. So the main stuff with her is that she goes to this, I'm not sure exactly what she was, but like some kind of vulva vagina doctor because she hasn't... She hasn't orgasmed in a while, and it turns out when, when the special let's call her a specialist, was is examining her, and her her down below the equator, 
So, saying that she's perfectly healthy down there, nothing's wrong. So then, when she's kind of going through this meditation, like thinking what's going on in her mind. So I thought it was hilarious that she hasn't had an orgasm since, since Trump won the election. So that, that was, <laughs> so like this show has been very, I'm, I'm not political at all on this. This isn't a place for, I don't keep politics here. But I'm, all I'm saying is that Broad City has done that, how they had Hillary Clinton on the show last year. So like, I thought this was a very funny and original way of giving a broad city flair to the current political climate of what what's happening. So how I was saying how and the specialist is saying, oh, Trump has been bad for all all business owners. Because it's been great for me because there's been a lot of people like you saying uh, orgasms have been have been down. I think, he, I think she said 140 percent since since November 8th, and I thought that that was that was pretty funny, and then. And then finally, she keeps battling it. She's like, whether it's her montage of of powerful and important uh, women throughout, throughout the ages. And then she's battling through Electoral College, Mike Pence. But then finally, that Oprah, you see, a, a couple of Oprah, you see, uh, obviously Hillary Clinton, Nicki Minaj. Uh, I feel like we saw... One of them was Amelia Earhart. So then she finally, she finally, uh, like fixes the problem and how she names it. She names it Abby, and at first says she's there for Abby. And I thought that that was great. And and then how she finally keeps going and how the the specialist says you lost a lot of fluids, <laughs> so he gives her this this weed drink. So. That was pre that was pretty funny, and then they end up uh, meeting at the end. So I didn't get them going to this kind of kind of rally, which it wasn't really a rally, but some kind of bonfire thing. Which which they see the boat, which they see both people, and and then from and then from that, I mean, let me see. It looks like that either. Either Alana had, had an orgasm on the Trump Tower or near, because we see that at the end, and then and we see that at Alana bought Abby the Drew Barrymore space heater, and she's which should really should have been done in the beginning episode. Just instead of just panicking, just you could easily just dye those dye those gray, which turned out to be gray hairs. As in, there were like probably like five, six to seven, eight gray hairs, and. And Abby was like, wait, it's just the one. And I was like, yeah, just the one. So overall, good episode. Not, nothing great. But yeah, those are my thoughts. And that's all. Bye.